And uh, if you look at the market cap of the entire cryptocurrency space, is actually sitting at 271 billion US dollars. Now, it's worth noting that at some point when the market cap of all cryptocurrencies actually went, you know, the all time high, this went to as high as 800 billion US dollars, okay? And it has since corrected. Now, experts, um, you know, billionaires, you know, all these guys, they are all estimating that this uh, cryptocurrency market cap is a potential 1 trillion, 2 trillion, 5, and even up to 10 trillion US dollars market. That's the potential. How long is it going to take to reach there? I don't know. All I know is that I am positioning myself so that when that it gets there, you know, I become rich for generations to come. Hopefully everybody who's on this call is on the same mission as me. Okay. Now, another figure that I want us to actually note of is the Bitcoin market cap. It's sitting today at 175 billion US dollars. And the other one would be Bitcoin Cash is sitting at 7.8 billion. And Bitcoin Satoshi Vision is sitting at 5.47. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is Bitcoin Cash and what is Bitcoin Satoshi Vision? These two are what is called a fork and of which Bitcoin Vault is not a fork. I will explain that just now. So I hope you are keeping those figures for me. The market cap for Bitcoin, the market cap for Satoshi, uh, Satoshi Vision, uh, Bitcoin Cash, and also the entire market cap of the cryptocurrency market. Okay. So now let's go to our business, Bitcoin Vault. Okay. So now, ladies and gents, Bitcoin Vault is quite an exciting project. Now, there is no way for us to talk about Bitcoin Vault or any other cryptocurrency project without actually acknowledging Bitcoin, all right? So, Bitcoin, as you all know, started in 2009. And it was, you know, the first of its kind. A lot of people didn't believe that it would actually work, you know? And, uh, you know, it actually broke, you know, the mold, you know? And um, so it's, uh, for those who don't know, Bitcoin is simply a cryptocurrency. There's no uh, printed format, it's 100% digital. And uh, it's a peer-to-peer -peer transaction system um, that does not need a middleman. So meaning I can send money to anyone, anywhere around the world, you know, at the fraction of the cost of what it would cost me if I was using the traditional, you know, um, financial legacy systems. So that's what Bitcoin has done. Bitcoin has actually, you know, what, what the internet has done for communication, Bitcoin has actually done for money, okay? So this is uh, very, 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 uh, you know, powerful. And um, I usually ask this question when I do my presentation. If you've got communication and you've got money, you've got internet and you've got Bitcoin, you know? And, um, you know, if the, if the, if the, com if the internet you know, um, being introduced and uh, disrupted communication in the traditional system has actually created hundreds of billionaires, you know. I mean, the world's richest man right now is rich via the internet, you know, um, with a company called Amazon, all right? Um, so that's all because of the internet. If you look at the top 10 richest people in the world, how many of them are rich because of the internet? You know, a whole lot of them. Now, so if, 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 communic if the internet did that for communication, how much do you think Bitcoin will do for money? Because if I were to ask you which one is more important, communication or money? You know my answer, it's money, okay? Um, because, so you can imagine what's actually going to happen. You can imagine the number of billionaires going to be created. You can imagine the number of industries that are going to be created because of the importance of money, because of the importance of the transfer of value. So let's talk about Bitcoin. Now, the market cap is actually, as you saw, is sitting at 175 billion. And uh, there's a lot of billions that has, have been invested. Um, we're talking Bitcoin mines, we're talking power plants, we're talking, um, you know, uh, there's a whole lot of money behind the scene that's actually being, uh, being um, you know, um, invested in to make sure this thing actually works, you know? There's something that they call the off-ramps and the on-ramps on Bitcoin. What do I mean? You've got two highways. 
you've got the fiat currency and you've got Bitcoin. So now people have invested a lot of money in what is called the on-ramp and the off-ramp. What will those be? Those will be the link between fiat currency and cryptocurrency. It's things like Alcon Trader, Luno, and so many out there, you know, globally, um, you know, a lot of money has been invested to make sure that they actually work and bridge the gap, okay? So it is, has been, uh, Bitcoin has been the best performing asset over the last 10 years, undisputed, you know, number one world champion, you know, when it comes to assets over the last 10 years, nothing has even come close. When it comes to the adoption of Bitcoin, right now they had a meeting in Davos. They agreed on the framework, um, even though other countries were actually ahead in terms of them having legislation for Bitcoin and stuff like that. Um, you know, in Davos, they've agreed on, um, uh, on, uh, you know, on the framework and so forth. So this thing is not going to go away. In fact, it's actually growing, you know. Um, it reaches a stage whereby it cannot be undone right now impossible to undo it okay so it's not going to go away the governments right now are busy you know putting legislation together to make sure that that you know this thing is actually uh, um, controlled in a way um, um people are actually protected that's all there is so as much as that's all the good about bitcoin you know um there's something called the law of polarity whenever there's white there's gonna be black whenever there's left there's gonna be right so with all the good that is that, that, that Bitcoin has been able to accomplish, there's been quite a few undesirable, you know, things that have come with Bitcoin. You know, one of them is, um, you know, of all the Bitcoins that are in circulation, 0.06%, you know, of the wallets. A wallet is simply like a bank account, you know, it's what keeps Bitcoin. You know, 0.06% of all wallets that are existing right now hold over 61% of all the Bitcoins. Now, why is that an issue? It is an issue because if that is the case, and let's say a person holding 5,000 Bitcoins suddenly passes away, and the spouse has no desire, or the estate has no desire to actually hold on to those Bitcoins, they would rather have their fiat currency. What do you think is going to happen? Those people can sell the entire 5,000 Bitcoins. What do you think will happen to the value? It will actually tank. So it is undesirable, the fact that there's only a handful of people who own quite a lot of Bitcoins, because if that is the case, it's easy for them to actually, you know, even manipulate the markets and stuff like that, even though that's, that would not really be in their interest. But it, it, there's so many undesirable consequences with a few people having a lot of Bitcoins. And then the second issue is the issue of theft. You know, you might recall recently we had an issue with the, with the municipality of Johannesburg where someone hacked into the, into the system and, and actually locked everybody out. And then they said, if you want access, give us four Bitcoins. Why Bitcoins? Because they know that if, 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 uh, if they are sent the Bitcoins, there's no way of actually connecting you know, those Bitcoins to a person, you know, they can, they can, they can check the transaction, they can follow the transaction, but it's difficult to actually pin it to a person. Therefore, over the last eight years, you know, there's been more than 4 billion worth of Bitcoin stolen, hacks and stuff like that. So as a result, people that are hating on Bitcoin, they're actually using this thing, you know, to say that, well, is this Bitcoin not ideally used by criminals, you know? So, you know, that's, that's, that's what the haters have actually used against Bitcoin. So now, these are the all undesirable issues, you know, with Bitcoins. There has been a few um, proposals here and there to try and improve the situation. In my view, the winning proposal, it's not even a proposal anymore. It's an actual project that is on the, um, that is continuing right now. And that project is called Bitcoin Vault, okay? So we'll tell you how Bitcoin Vault actually answers, you know, some of these, um, you know, challenges that Bitcoin has. But as a disclaimer, let me say upfront, I do not think right now, because of what is called the network effect, I do not think that Bitcoin Vault at this stage, maybe in the future, but I do not think it's actually going to take away Bitcoin. I don't think. It's just there to actually complement Bitcoin. You will see why, okay? 
So now, how does this Bitcoin vault actually come about? There's a company called MindBest. You might know these guys, they are winning awards all over the show, um, you know, for their Bitcoin mine and stuff like that. And uh, the CEO and the founder is actually Eyal Evramovich. This is an inventor, he's a technologist. You can look him up, guys. This guy is well decorated when it comes to technology. He has built, you know, a lot of stuff, you know. One of them is the world's smallest car, and uh, he has patented quite a lot of stuff. So this is someone that is not new in the industry, in the technology space, all right? So it's someone with a, a very, very big name. Now, that being said, there is a, a research and development team at MindBest. They actually came across this white paper and, you know, changed a few things here and there and actually, you know, backed up the project and created the project, okay? So it came about because of MindBest. They are the one who are taking the lead as far as this is concerned. But it is an open source project. Any other developer can actually suggest and work on the project. It's an open source. Um, it's not a, 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 a closed project, okay? So if you are wondering who is MindBest, MindBest is actually located in Poland, in Warsaw. And we've got uh, our, our business partner that has been there. And, uh, but their mining facility um, is actually in Kazakhstan, Astana. And um, I was there in July this year. Quite astonishing what I saw there. And um, they've just opened another mining facility in, in, in China. So guys, this company is truly exceeding expectation each and every day. You know, it's, uh, uh, I'm very, very happy to be partnering with this company. So as you can see that they won, um, you know, the, they won an award for the mining farm. And um, so you can see the awards uh, actually coming from the World Digital Mining Summit. And the other one is IDMS. Um, so these guys are actually, you know, sponsoring even uh, Bitcoin and blockchain events all over the world. You know, they were in Cape Town recently. And, uh, and I've actually got some news for you guys. Um, the, the vice president called uh, um, uh, Peter is going to be coming to South Africa. And uh, it's going to be in March. He will be coming to um, Joburg, uh, Pretoria, and uh, Port Elizabeth. Um, so it's going to be awesome. More details to come as far as that is concerned. So we are definitely at the right place at the right time, okay? And now, so what are the characteristics of, of Bitcoin Vault? What makes it different? One, um, it's actually based on the same code as Bitcoin. Um, it just that this one has got added features. It's got three um, private uh, keys, whereas Bitcoin only has one private key. And one of those private keys is actually used in the event somebody hacks into your wallet, steals your Bitcoin Vault, um, you can be able to actually recover your Bitcoin Vault, of which there is no other cryptocurrency right now where you can do that. So Bitcoin Vault is actually the only cryptocurrency that can be used for security, okay? This is very, very important. So now it then becomes, you know, it's going to be the sought after currency when it comes to the issue of store of value because it cannot be hacked. There's just so much that is exciting about this, uh, this coin. It's using the same algorithm as Bitcoin, which is the SHA-256. It's also open source. Any developer, if you're a developer in this group, you're welcome to go to GitHub. You can contribute there and, uh, and work with other developers to make sure this thing actually reaches you know, higher heights. And uh, it will also have a total supply of 21 million, just like Bitcoin. Um, it's gonna be a much better store of value it's going to use the same machines that I used to mine Bitcoin, which are the ASIC, of which you might want to know that we're using the, the latest equipment because of our partnership with a company called What's Miner, um, where they are exclusively producing machines for Mine Best and Mining City. That's actually very, very um, um, interesting to note. Um, the project itself is decentralized. Anyone can mine this coin. Um, it's got an anti theft system, which I spoke about earlier which is you can reverse transactions, all right? So now, you might have noticed that on, um, on Yahoo Finance and two other publications, they have been talking about Bitcoin Vault. It's, re it's receiving tremendous uh, coverage 
and this is only the beginning guys you will see this on all major publication people are going to be talking about bitcoin vault all over the show you and i have got an unfair advantage what is that unfair advantage we know about Bitcoin Vault even before it was started to be mined. You know, we knew about this even before the 16th of December. So we've got an unfair advantage. We've got no excuse not to become rich through this project. Okay. This is only the beginning, guys. So much is happening. If you follow um, the official site, which is called uh, BitcoinVault.global, um, you will see the roadmap, what they are doing, when and how. Um, it's actually quite exciting to see any cryptocurrency project that does not have a roadmap in terms of what's going to happen where um, you know you need to be wary um, the interesting thing to note here is the fact that we're actually ahead of schedule these guys are ahead of schedule um, when it comes to this roadmap exciting things are really happening when it comes to Bitcoin vault now here is another unfair advantage now there is no company out there a mining company that's open to the public that's mining this coin as we speak the only company right now that's open to the public that is mining this coin is actually mining city that's all now when it comes to the distribution we are still on um you know period number one where every 10 minutes there's 175 coins that are mined so now um you might be aware that with bitcoin there's over 18 million Bitcoins in circulation. Now, this coin in the next four and a half years is going to catch up with the supply of Bitcoin. So that means next, this year in May, the supply of Bitcoin is going to be sitting at 6.25 every 10 minutes. And now in a space of, you know, about four years, um, the supply of uh, Bitcoin vault will then flow concurrently with, uh, with, with that of Bitcoin, you know, all the way up until the year 2140. But what's very interesting to note is the fact that the block reward for miners for the first four years are ridiculous. 175, then to 150, then 125, then 175. I mean, guys, we are still going to be paid here, you know, you know quite a lot. Um, the guys in Asia, are mining this project like crazy the guys in south america they are buying um you know mining plans for bitcoin vault like nobody's business and the the reasoning is very simple um you know bitcoin is sitting at about nine thousand four hundred dollars right now why will it uh, do you think in the next 12 months it's possible for bitcoin to go 10 times in value bitcoin is a bit big right now Yes, I believe it will go up. I don't think in the next 12 months, it's got the potential to, to actually go up 10 times. Whereas this particular coin has got the potential to go 10 times or even more. In fact, when we started mining 16th of December, you know, um, I mean, the coin literally, you know, started at zero. It went all the way to 600 and then came all the way down. And uh, it's now trading at around $15 the last time I checked. It did touch $20. And um, it just shows good people the potential of this coin. You know, the question is, when this coin reaches $1,000, how many coins do they have? When it reaches $2,000, how many coins do they have? When it reaches $5,000, $6,000, how many coins do they have? The potential here is enormous. So that's going to be the supply of this coin going forward. So, this is also very important um if you look at remember i showed you the market cap for bitcoin and for bitcoin cash and for satoshi vision now the reason for that let's go to what satoshi says here satoshi says the price of any commodity tends to gravitate towards the production cost so meaning if bitcoin right now costs nine thousand dollars to mine but the price of bitcoin is sitting at around um let's say eight thousand so there is a shortfall of a thousand dollars do you know what's going to happen the hash rate will go down because miners will begin to switch some of their machines off so that you know the hash rate can um, the cost of mining the coin you know will be greater than actually the coin value so normally normally 
the, 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 the market cap of a coin is directly linked to, 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 to the hash rate. So now, if you look at, if you look at the, the, the hash rate of Bitcoin Cash, and you look at the hash rate of, um, of, uh, of, uh, um, of Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, you can see that there's a correlation there. You know, the more the hash rate, the more the market cap, you know? So now, what's very interesting to note right now is that um, the market cap, sorry, the, the, the hash rate for Bitcoin Vault is sitting at over 1.6 exa hash. 1.6 exa hash. Why is that important? It is important because it then begins to say to us the cost of mining the coin and the value of the coin. You know, um, so much money has been invested into mining. So that means to me that the value of this coin is seriously undervalued. That's my opinion. Okay, it's seriously undervalued. It's only a matter of time whereby the value of this coin will then catch up. And I don't know about you, but I'm planning to be there to, to actually, you know, profit from that. Now, for those of you, and uh, definitely I hope everyone here, um, is that uh, uh, a lot of people got into Mining City and all they knew is Bitcoins. Therefore, they bought Bitcoin mining plans. I have Bitcoin mining plans. I've got a couple of accounts. And I've also got um, Bitcoin Vault mining plans. So for those of you that are mining Bitcoin, do not despair. Bitcoin is going to grow in value. You have seen what it has done over the last three weeks, you know, four weeks. And um, so, but, you know, I think it's only wise for you to mine both because people often ask me every single time, so what do we do? I say you want to have both. If you have to start with the one, it's okay, but make sure that you make enough money so that you can quickly have both, so that you can have the best of both worlds because both projects are actually going to grow from here. So now, with the, um, the, the packages for mining, um, Mining City is actually running a promotion that is ending on the 8th of February. So normally, if you buy, you know, the, plan, the standard plan for $500, normally you are getting 5 um, tera hash. But now because of the 20% increase, you now get 6 tera hash. For the gold plan, you're normally getting 35 tera hash which is on the computing power. Now, because of this, compute, this extra 20%, you're actually getting 42. Now, what does that mean? It means for me who has bought at um, um, the gold plan for, for at, at, at 35 tera hash, and you are buying it at 42, you will definitely on a daily basis, you're going to be mining a little bit more than me because you've got a little bit more hash rate than I have. That's the unfair disadvantage sorry advantage that you guys have it's the unfair advantage that you guys have those who are going to be buying you know your plans either today or tomorrow but make it a point that this offer only ends at the end of um at the eighth on the 8th of february okay so that's important to note so now if you know me, one thing I normally say every single time, and that is I like money, okay? I like money. I've got my goose that lays the golden egg. And what is that goose? That goose is my mining. So I never want to kill my, uh, my, my goose, you know? I never want to eat my goose. I never want to spend my golden eggs. So now what Mining City does, you might be aware that all businesses all over the world, they've got one thing in common, and that is they set aside a budget for advertising or marketing. What is that doing? That's simply a business spending money on customer acquisition, customer retention, okay? Uh, if we were to use our local language, you will say that that is Coca-Cola recruiting. When they spend those adverts showing you happy people and stuff like that, that's them recruiting in a way, okay? So what does Mining City do? Mining City could follow that route, take a lot of money, advertise so that they can get clients. They chose not to do that. They chose a, a, a distribution model called network marketing. So how does that distribution actually work? It's very simple. Me as a happy investor, 
If I then recommend Mining City to my friend, my brother, my cousin, whoever, and that person wants to join, then Mining City compensates me because it's not fair because now they've got a new customer that they would have had to pay for, you know, by, by way of advertising. Now they've got this customer, you know, so it's only fair that they compensate me for bringing that customer. So I sit back and I was like, oh, okay, if that is the case, how many people know about Bitcoin? Very few. How many people, if they understood what this thing is all about, would want to get involved? A lot of people. So uh, what do I do? I took this as a full-time business, making it a point that I teach people about what is Bitcoin, what is Bitcoin Vault, why do they exist? You know, why should we care? And uh, those that want to get on board, of course, I help them to get on board. And what happens? We get paid commission. So how much money is there to be made? Quite a lot of money. You know, there's five different ways you get paid. This is just one of them. I won't even go deep into it. This bonus here pays us between $200 and $2,400 per day. And guess what? You can choose to have one account. You can choose to have more than one account. Right now, I'm sitting with about 11 accounts and counting. Okay? So guess what? Imagine if all those 11 accounts were maxing out, meaning they were giving me $2,400 a day. Just imagine that. Okay? In fact, imagine just one account giving you $2,400 a day. That is a lot of money at the end of the month. Okay? So, now, this we'll discuss in a separate video, the compensation plan, how it works, and so forth. In fact, you can get this on my YouTube channel, Lonovo for Lolo, that's it. Um, you can check the compensation plan, um, how it works. And um, so, this is one of the ways we get paid. So, the second way we get paid, um, it's called compensation plan two. This is one of my favorite. So how this thing works, a lot of people come into the business, they are wanting to do the business, they just don't know where to start. So we are here to actually help those people, okay? Why are we gonna do that? There's two reasons, one, um, you know, most of us, we are in a place where we, we have found, you know, relative comfort in terms of our lifestyle, but now, the greatest pleasure, the greatest pleasure would derive is when a person says to me, I just cycled for the first time. I just got my first cycle bonus of $200. I'm now going to buy my dream car. I'm now going to buy my dream house. Those are the things that bring the most fulfillment to me right now. Okay? So, and on top of that, that's the primary reason. You know, we want to see people succeed. Okay? That's the primary reason. The secondary reason is that when you make your $200, guess what happens? The system pays your upline and your upline's upline, you know, and so forth, $10, okay? So I am so desperate to see you make your $200 and I'm sure you'll be happy making $200. I'll be happy too, you know, and I've got two reasons to be happy. One is that you are making $200. The second reason is that I will also be making my $10. So good people, make use of your upline, make use of your support structure, make sure that you get those $200, you know, let your upline, your sponsor, let them help you to present this opportunity, you know, um, to, um, to, um, to your friends and family members and so forth, your prospects, so that you can get your $200, so that your upline can get, you know, his or her $10 as well. Now here, there is no limit to how many ten dollars you can make? A lot of guys with, the, with with big teams make a lot of money here. Compensation plan number three. This is also very simple. You've got two teams. You've got team A, which is person number one to person number five, that you directly sign up. You know what we call direct signups, and you will then get five percent of what they invest as your referral commission. And then you've got your team B. Who's your team B? Your team B is person number six all the way to infinity. You get 10% for each and every person that signs up. Okay? And then you've got your team A or B. Um, that's also very simple. Um, what that means is that, um, you know, from your team B, which is person number six, when they sign their first five, which is their team A, 
They get 5%, you get the other 5%. Your person number seven, when they sign their first five, they get 5%, you get the other 5%, and so forth, okay? So, there is quite a lot of money to be made in this business. Now, also, another thing to note is the fact that right now, we are only getting paid in Bitcoins, but very soon, as soon as there is liquidity, um, Vault is on many exchanges, we will start getting paid um, also, our commission bonuses in Bitcoin vaults. I can't wait for that to happen because why? It means then we'll start accumulating faster and faster and faster. So, yeah.